Hi, welcome to uh, the Retirement Railroad Matinee Modeling Tip of the Day. I'm Steve, and I want to continue today uh, with my uh, JMRI series, uh, in particular on Panel Pro. Uh, in the previous tip of the day, uh, we talked about, uh, or I showed uh, my uh, uh, first or phase one panel of my railroad. And, and explain how it worked and uh, how you uh, did it, etc. So uh, we can take a look at uh, what we had and what I've done uh, since then. And uh, there you go. So the original tip of the day covered phase one, uh, the double main line lazy dog bone, which is basically this section around here okay uh, and we got that up and working and we had it in uh, I think I showed it in uh, both edit mode which is that uh, and in uh, non-edit mode which is what we had before this now you notice there's red circles around all the turnouts and uh, that is to make it easier for me to be able to see and I've increased the size of my uh, mouse pointer uh, so that when I'm standing on the other side of the room and it's orange I can see it easier so I can move with my remote mouse here turn it on, and uh, with it I can move my uh, mouse pointer around and uh, uh, throw the switches and so just to show you that we'll just pick on this one here and click on it and you can see how it switches right. now uh, in uh, the live stream I did on Labor Day uh, and uh, Jason the train freak uh, joined me uh, I went ahead and I finished up, or I started on, phase two here. Okay, I think I had everything done except for the Eola, Aurora Eola yard here. I had uh, both uh, inner uh, and outer main lines and center track, along with all these switching tracks, uh, done and connected over here from Aurora engine facility to the Lockport Industrial uh, area. Uh, and that included the drop down section, which is here. And why don't I switch camera views? You don't need to look at me. Uh, it uh, included uh, the connection here between the Aurora engine across the drop down section here. All right, if you follow my uh, mouse pointer. Uh, around over here to the lift out section which sits in this area here okay. and it added all the switches in uh, now they are not all they all do not have uh, switch motors or wired in yet uh, but the main line ones are in place that run the connection between Lockport Industrial and over here to Aurora engine facility, the turntable, uh, roundhouse area. Okay, so all those are in. Now, one of the things, you know, I've talked about it before, the uh, uh, JMRI Panel Pro is a very powerful tool. Uh, if we look at uh, it again, some of the options it has, uh, uh, if we just look at the panels, you uh, new panels you can have the uh, panel editor uh, layout editor uh, etc and here you know are all your different options for your panel now under tools you can take a look at uh, you have different programmer options. You have tables. Now, 
I have the, uh, I am working with turnouts. I don't have sensors, lights, signals, any of that uh, on here yet, okay? Uh, but just to show you what a turnout table looks like, and I've shown it before, it's right here. When you're starting out in Panel Pro, you enter, and I, I already went through this in the previous tip of the day, you enter all of your turnouts. And then you get them set matched up by either inverting them or not. And then you can tie turnouts together. So they both throw when you click on one of them. Okay. Um, and I have uh, multiples of those. I've shown that before as well. But anyway, you have uh, this. Now, one thing I have not shown before is a switch board. Now, depending on how you want to operate your railroad, I like the diagram for the reasons I've said before, so I can throw switches using my remote pointer from across the room. Other people uh, may prefer a different layout. Okay? And one of the things is you get a switchboard. Right. And it lists all of the turnouts and what their current state is, whether it's thrown or closed. And you can set the different colors the way you want. Okay. Uh, the dark, darkened gray are ones that are not yet used. Okay. I have a particular naming configuration for mine. And uh, some of the ones that are, the 10 that are not wired in will fall into some of these uh, gray areas. Or actually into all those gray areas. <laughs> so, uh, but that is the switchboard. Now you can change the switchboard um, and how you want to view it. Uh, I have it set right here to button. Now you can change it to a slide. There you go, you got slide switches. You can change it to a key. You, or you can change it to a symbol. Okay? And then it will throw, and you, this also gives you a visual of how you want it. Okay? But again, I prefer uh, not to even use this. I prefer to look at the panel uh, diagram. Okay? Now, ultimately, you can add uh, signal lights, and you can add them to your panel as well. Uh, so there's a lot of powerful things you can do with uh, JMRI Panel Pro. Today in particular I want to show you something that I do utilize and that I've started on and that is routes. Okay. Now under operations you can have routes for how you want a train uh, to direct around the layout, the particular route you want a train to take. Um, what I want here is routing for how my switches are thrown. Okay, so with that, there is a uh, uh, a tool, and you would get to it by from Panel Pro Tools, and you come down here. To tables over and down to routes okay and I already have mine open in the background so here it is now I currently have input four different routes okay I have two phase one and two phase two routes for inner and outer main lines okay now, if we go back to the panel, the phase one inner main line is this one right here. Comes around the lazy dog bone, or bent dog bone. And the phase two is the outer, I mean, phase one outer main line is just that. It follows the same parallels to the inner. Now, phase two inner and outer become these two lines that come across 
from here, this is the outer, follows down and connects here. The phase two inner is again from phase one outer main line, but it's the inner through phase two. And it, neither of those affect phase one inner route, okay? So basically, you can have three trains running loops without any interference uh, on the retirement railroad. Phase one inner and phase two inner and outer, okay? Those are the three main routes. Uh, now, the reason I have a phase one outer uh, separate is so that if I don't want to raise the uh, lift up here or the uh, put in the uh, lift out over here, I can run the original phase one inner and outer main line. Okay? Hopefully that makes some sense. So, what you uh, do, and I'll show you how to add a route, because I want to add a phase two um, inner going down this center track and I want to raise phase two outer going down the center track all right why would I want to do that well if I'm running switch switching operations here on the Eola yard okay I want to divert from the inner main line to the center deck main line I want to set that up uh, <clears throat> to throw the switches at each ends automatically. Okay. Uh, likewise, if I'm running switching operations on this team track down here, I want uh, to divert the traffic from the outer phase two to the center uh, to free up this <clears throat> outer main line as a uh, arriving departing, departing track so I can run switching operations along this long team track. Okay. Um, and additionally, I will end up adding routes for these uh, five staging tracks where I can just click it and it sets all these switches to bring a uh, train into or out of the appropriate staging track. So that's some of the uses. Let's go ahead and do uh, a uh, phase two. And what we want there is everything that's the same as uh, the uh, phase one uh, track. And uh, so we're going to uh, come, go down through here. And uh, phase one out, or phase, yeah, phase one outer main line. So for that, I am going to move my table here because you don't need to actually see this. So I'm going to put it over, slide it over to a different monitor. This one. Uh, and the reason I have it up is so I can just see the status of, of a switch. So, for the center one, we're going to want to set all these switches uh, the same as phase two enter and then change the status here, 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 and here. Okay, does that make sense? Hopefully. So, uh, with that, back over here, and we're going to add a route. And we're going to call this, uh, and I just use the abbreviations, phase two inner center. Right, we'll give it a better description here. Phase two inner two center. So, with that, I want Outer Union Station to be closed. I want to include it. I want to 
I'll set it to closed. Uh, then I come down to the other side, which would be 43, other side of Union Station, 43. I want to include that in this route. And I want to make it closed. How do I know that? Because I'm looking over at my uh, turnout table, All right, just to verify. And once I have the route done, I'll throw the route and, and verify each and every one of the switches, okay, the actual. Okay, so I got that, and now at the next switch we come to is the uh, Aurora crossover, which is right here. We want to include that, and according to my table, needs to be closed. All right. Then we come down to Aurora Expansion Front, right. and uh, which is nine, and we want it thrown. It's already set there. So the next one we come to is. Uh, 20, that's locked for it, outer center, we want Aurora, Enter to center, or expansion, enter to center. Right. It's closed. So, or expansion, enter to center. I want to include that, and we want to set it to close. And we want to set Aurora Center outer to inner. All right. And we need to look and see on the diagram. We need it set to to closed. All right, based upon what I see on the diagram here and what I see on the, uh, the table, turnout table. sets all of those until we get around to Lockport center to inner or outer. Okay, we don't know how it's thrown right now. Uh, I believe it's closed. Enter to center. Get that one closed. Then we need that one. Set to throne. And that gives us the whole route. Okay? 
Now, again, you can put sensors on these things uh, as you're training. I mean, it's, there's so many powerful things you can do. If you add sensors and block control and everything, you can set the trains to run automatically and give it a route to run, and, and uh, it will throw switches automatically and do all kinds of stuff. So uh, I'm not anywhere near that, but I do like the ability to have these uh, routes. So I'm going to create it now. Make sure we save it, all of our panels. So we're going to, and it's store, configuration, and panels to the bottom. Yes. Overwrite previous. Yes. Now, if I, let's say, uh, you can see uh, this switch here. Right now, it's in what I have the comment up above, an ending default. Why? Because with this drop down section that's right here, dropped down, all right, I want to remind myself when I'm done running trains, I need to hit this set button so that this switch sends trains around this loop here and similarly over in Lockport so that. I don't inadvertently fire up the railroad, put it, and then get an engine going and have it go flying off the table because this drop down or the lift out is not in place. And how do I know to do that? Because I didn't have the default and I couldn't see across the room to the Lockport Industrial, or and it was before Panel Pro, so I couldn't see what the condition of the switch was. And I assumed, and we all know what assumes spells that it was set in the position for phase one and it wasn't so anyway luckily it was an old laughing blue box and uh, uh, no real damage to it threw off the alignment of the front truck uh, which was easy to, easy to fix uh, so anyway so now we have this phase two uh, enter to center Okay, so now that we have the uh, route in place, the uh, phase two inner to center main line, uh, we've got it uh, all set up. Now let's see if it works. And you can watch, this switch should change, this switch, that'll stay the same. That switch will change, and the one up underneath here will change. So we should have uh, this, 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 and this all change. Okay? So let's hit it. There you go. All right. We now have it set where the phase two inner goes to the center main line. here and uh, I hope you uh, learned something or uh, learned how not to do something <laughs> whichever the case may be I want to thank you for joining me here at the retirement railroad matinee modeling tip of the day I'm Steve and y'all have a great day bye now <laughs>